Today we have two different uses from Google. First one is their video AI tool and the next one is Google's Palm tool. So let's talk about their video AI tool. So Google have just introduced their tool called Megwit that can perform multiple different tasks. Megwit Mask Generative Video Transformer. We introduced Megwit to tackle various video synthesis tasks with single model where we demonstrate its quality, efficiency and flexibility so you will better understand with examples. So this one single model can perform 10 different video tasks. So the first one is frame prediction. So this is the single image of someone's hand trying to lift pen out of the box and it automatically detected what could be the next possible movement and generated a video animation out of it. And in the next image is more satisfying where you can see the image of a beach and he detected the wave and generated a very smooth animation out of it. The next one is frame interpolation where you can see they give it two different images and where someone is filling that glass of water and in the next image that glass is full of water. And after detecting both of these images it generated a complete movement of filling that glass of water. And in the next image we have two different images of sunset, one before sunset and second one is after the sunset. And now it generated a complete animation of sunset just based on these two images. Okay, so on the next we have central outpainting. Well, we already have seen image outpainting where you can generate the rest part of that image. But now we have video outpainting and this is something big because uh, image outpainting is easy but video outpainting is something difficult than images. And look at the second example where you can see the cropped video and the rest of that video is just a blank but then it automatically generated skies and clouds and filled that gap. Then we have different types of outpaintings like vertical outpainting where videos are in portrait mode and then horizontal outpainting and then we have dynamic outpainting. Well dynamic outpainting is more difficult because the camera, the angle, the frames are moving continuously from one place to another but still it did a good job and as we all know AI always mess up with hands. Well this issue is not even solved with image generators so what we can expect with video tools but this is still acceptable. Then we have in painting feature well this is interesting where you can see only the half of the glass is visible in the video but it not only generated the glass but also generated his hand and this one is actually better than out painting because in out painting you are just creating the corners of that video but in in painting you are generating actual object. And the last one is more interesting actually where you can see uh, someone is squeezing the wrapper with his hand and they give it an image and then it generated a squeezing moving video based on the movements of the hands. Well this is not perfect yet but few things like image to animation, outpainting is really interesting part of this research and I hope so Google will release it soon and I'm very excited for this tool. Okay so now we can use Google Palm 2 model inside of CodeGPT. So this guy Daniel San on Twitter shared a video where he is using Google Palm 2 model inside of Visual Studio. So you just have to install this extension of CodeGPT inside of Visual Studio and then go to settings and choose Google and then select the model called Chad Bison 001. And then you can ask it any question about your code like explaining the code or finding the bugs in your code and I will also make sure to provide the link in the description so you guys can try it out. And you guys can also find the link of that research paper below. So that's it from this video and if you guys are in the space of AI, make sure to subscribe Planet AI and I'll see you in the next one.